Remember that show idea I had? Where you play a taxi driver in old-timey England? Oh, you mean Downton Cabby? Yeah, the network loved it. The Rock was going to play the Dowager Countess. Yeah, it was going to be huge. Did you tell him it was my idea? No. No, no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that at all. Because if I had did that, they would have stopped complimenting me. So you just had to hog all the credit? That's exactly what I did. That's how the world works, honey. See, the famous guy gets all the credit, and the people that actually do the work, but well, they get screwed. Just like Matthew Henson. Did you steal his show idea, too? No. Matthew Henson was the first human to step foot on the North Pole. But at the time, all the credit went to the famous leader of the expedition, Robert Perry. I feel his pain. In the early 1900s, all the polar exploring was locked up by either rich white dudes or white dudes bankrolled by other rich white dudes. But let's get real. These dudes weren't making these treks by themselves. Most of the work was being done by hired assistants like the Inuits and all-around badass Matthew Henson, the first African-American Arctic explorer. Henson, you see, was a master navigator who spoke fluent Inuit. He was Robert Perry's right-hand man. After two failed attempts trying to be the first to reach the North Pole, Perry and his team of Henson and four Inuits set out once again in 1909. But on this expedition, it was Henson who led the way, not Perry, carving the trail on foot and in crazy hard conditions. With the compass going bananas, Henson led everyone on the right direction by reading how the wind cut the ridges in the snow. As Henson neared the North Pole, Perry was 45 minutes behind, stricken ill and strapped to a dog sled. Let's go. Sumi Pao Mialik Piari. That's right. I guess we gotta wait for him, huh? Hey, <sighs> <Emma> Perry. <laughs> According to my calculations, this is it. We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, me. Henson. Tiki Kanguru. Luna. Nipu Muntada. Aturbian. Well, I suppose this calls for a celebration. I shall be the first man to make some tea at the North Pole. <laughs> no need, sir. Already took care of it. Oh. Uh, well then, I will be the first man at the North Pole to enjoy a jelly donut. A really good. I taste you. Well then. I will be the first man to celebrate the majesty of this occasion in a sonnet dedicated to my beautiful wife. Eh? Already done, sir. <laughs> She's gonna love it. I went on and on about how the snow evokes a beautiful milky complexion. You're gonna have some more children after this. This is good, damn it. Gotta try. Perry wasn't too wild about Henson getting credit, so he decided that maybe he should double check the calculations. Wait a minute. According to my calculations, the North Pole is actually right about here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did it. I'm the first man on the North Pole. High five, Utah. But, sir, it's too cloudy to even get an accurate reading with the sextant. But, sir, it's too cloudy to get an accurate reading with the sextant. Please, Matthew, don't be jealous. When you thought you got here first, I could not have been more happy for you, right, Utah? Utah, what? This is about science, not credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I hereby declare the North Pole Peary Country. <laughs> <laughs> also, have your family tried delicious new Kresnik brand jelly donuts? How do we get the billing inside? Oh, that's a Kresnik secret. 